don't know what the fuck's happening. It's just... OBS just fucked up, like, multiple times. Wait to see if anybody wants to jump on because that Game Boy intro is just too good. A little, a little ping at the beginning of every Game Boy game. There's nothing like that. Get going in just a moment here. Such an intense amount of sound. <laughs> oh man, I don't even want to change it. I just want to let that ride out for a second. I'm going to take my sweet time with this because the beginning of this game is there's nothing more magical than the beginning of this I love it so much different you know, Porygon, all the different Pokemon there. Sure, man. Snorlax looks so much cooler in blue for some reason. He just looks way better in the with the blue color. 
Oh, I want to do one thing actually. I should do one thing. See if it works on here. For the classic. Let me see if I can do like the, the negative. Pretty sure I can. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> negative. The negative color looks so cool. I'm gonna reset it again, but I love that shit so much. I can't believe it. I love that it actually works on the, uh, it works on the, you know, Game Boy Player on GameCube as well. Oh my god. It's pretty scary. Not scary, but it's just like, it is super bizarre. The way it looks and it with the negative. Hmm. Open the game cube there. We're good. One more time. Alright, we're gonna get started for real now. as well. Let's skip through that. Yeah, so the Game Boy Player on the GameCube is just super accurate and it'll do everything, it'll ever do exactly, every, you know, everything just like a regular Game Boy should, clearly. With this, uh, with the GameCube controller, it's so nice with that, actually. Uh, option, we're gonna make that text fast. Is that still there? Yep, okay. Let's get a new game going. I study Pokemon as a profession. I should have been re reading all that. First, what is your name? I'll read the text. I forget that there's no... There's nothing there. Let's make it Riho. D-pad is really not worth using. I have to use the joystick on this controller. It's way more accurate than the D-pad. The D-pad on the GameCube controller does suck. It's like, I don't understand, they make this perfect, everything is perfect besides the D-pad type of controller. This is just very stiff, and yes it is a wireless one, but even on the actual GameCube controller it's just too stiff. Not wide enough. So your name is Riho. This is my grandson. He has been your rival since you were a baby. <laughs> um, what is his name again? Fucking asshole doesn't remember his grandson's name and needs you to tell him. He's losing his losing his mind, I guess. Let's name him Puke. That's right. I remember now. His name is Puke. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Damn. Right there, you can access the SNES. Okay. It's time to go. Played like a real quick round of something, I guess. I think there's a potion in here. Yeah. Now let's just toss that. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, the blue background is. I like that way more than red. I don't really like the red back background with the blue. I mean, I, I like I like playing Pokemon Red, but the this color scheme just works way better to me with the character being red and everything being blue. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Yep, you have to leave the house at ten years old. Raising Pokemon too, when they get strong, they can protect me. 
If I if I train them right, you know. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. Sweet. Oak Pokemon Research Lab. Now I believe we have to just leave. Where do we get the map from here first? No. He's out at Grandpa's lab. <laughs> Puke. So I think we leave so we get him trigger him yet. Hey wait, don't go out. He won't be there if I go to the lab. I'm just I'll never be there. You have to leave. Like you just talk to I think Gary and the other people working there. But that's the only way to actually get him to come out, really. <laughs> Here, come with me. I don't have to read every single thing. I'll read some stuff. But I mean, come on. Everyone's seen this shit for 30 years, I think. Almost 30 years, for, uh, I think. And yeah, we're good. Graham, I'm fed up with waiting. Puke? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Riho. There are three Pokemon here. They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Grims, what about me? Be patient, Puke. You can have one, too. I kind of want to go with Squirtle, because I just always go with whatever's on the cover. Like with, in red, I always choose Charmander. And blue, I always choose Squirtle. Just because, why wouldn't I want that? Charmander. Nope. Yeah, let's go Squirtle. Yes. This Pokemon is really something. I don't know. Rio received a Squirtle. Nah. He goes with Bulbasaur. Okay. I don't know what the visual options are like, by the way. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Alright, sweet. Oh, uh, and then he wants to battle, that's right. Yes, you're right. He wants to battle, the Eidos. Doesn't get old. See how the battles look way cooler in blue, too, for some reason to me. I just think like those colors, like the health bar and everything, looks way better. This is so great! Oh my god, Pokemon is so good. I'm just happy to be able to play this one again. It's broken for like years because I didn't, because it's just the battery died or whatever. And luckily, some wonderful, a uh, wonderful person fixed it for me. So thank fucking Christ. Come on, dude. Fucking get him down. Critical hit or something. Oh, my attack fell. That's right. Yeah, every time he does that, my attack is falling. Dude, am I gonna fucking lose? We gotta use an item. <laughs> I can't believe I have to use that shit. I probably would have lost if I didn't do that. <laughs> Alright, come on. Get the fucking shit down, dude. Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. So his Pokemon's first impression of him is that he doesn't like him. Like his Pokemon's feeling so ashamed right now, or uh, Bulbasaur's feeling very ashamed. I bet. Make Pokemon tougher, or whatever the hell he wants to say. I don't give a shit what he has to say. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it's a stream. We gotta, we gotta talk to everyone. Oh yeah, I said he has his aid. And I said he has his aid too. In high regard, and they hold him in high regard. Cool. Well, that's nice to hear. They got the town map here, right? Oh. I guess we have to play a little bit before we can get that town map. I haven't played the beginning of this game in a minute. <laughs> I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know I'll give you a sample. Here you go. He gives me a potion. Cool. Thanks, guy. These sounds are so intense. This was for like a little Game Boy speaker, so they had to make it like all those 8 bit sounds are so trebly. They're just too high. I mean, there's supposed to be a bass line in there somewhere, I think. But it's not. It doesn't act, It's not actually a bassy. It's all spritey. It's all sprites. So I'm gonna take it down even more on here. It's probably a good, it's probably a good volume. Maybe 40. Minus 40 decibels. Maybe more. 37? Yeah. Hmm. No. <laughs> You're Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Doesn't even let me answer. Can't say no to that quest, I guess. Required quests. I'm gonna get all this bullshit out of the way before I start like actually leveling up the Pokemon. Oh well, here we go. I got a potion. I think. Or I already healed him too, so I think we're good. Let's take down this Rattata. Rattata. Level two Ratatat. You have something for me? He was just saying, how was my Pokemon? How's he doing? He's doing so good since you gave him up for adoption. Gave him away. I'm sure he felt so special. Pokedex. Automatically records data to high tech encyclopedia. Take these with you. Got a Pokedex. Complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it, so I want you to fulfill my dream for me. And and the only way you could do that is if you purchase the other game and have someone trade it with you. Or have someone trade it. That was the only way to do it. I mean how are you supposed to get the other two starters and their evolutions if you you, there's no way you can 
finish it with just one of the games. I don't need you. I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Tell her not to lend you one. Because <laughs> I'm such a fucking dick. Because they wrote me to be a little fucking turd, Nugget. I'm gonna ask you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. So we got the town map, that's pretty sweet. Thanks. Thank you so much. <clears throat> should train a little bit here. Oh man, I should probably catch some of these Pokemon though too. There's old dude who hasn't had his drink. They say it's coffee in the American original. Oh, is he not? Oh, because I didn't. I had to go there before. I missed it before. Sure, you can go through. You in a hurry? No. Automatically updated. What? Do you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll show you how to. Then. And he shows us how to catch Pokemon. Believe it or not. I don't know if you saw that coming, but that's what happens. I'm so used to just burning through this because of how many times I've seen that, so maybe I should slow it down and read some of that stuff, but... We just gotta get the game going, who cares? If you wanna see all that stuff... Then watch another stream, watch a different watch somebody else. First, you need to weaken the target... Uh, Pokemon. That's what he said. Did. Maybe I did and I just forgot that I did it. <laughs> just in case I didn't. Okay. And I should go and buy some Pokeballs. I just want to kind of jump into later areas too. Those areas so rough with the like the the Pokemon there are just so low that leveling up feels. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Feels like it doesn't really happen <laughs> as, as, as quickly as it could. So, I'm so like, focus on what I'm doing. I can't even talk right now. But I can, but I'm fucking stupid. I sound stupid. Uh, don't smoke weed. Don't smoke weed, people. Let's go. What's in this? I forget what's in these places. Oh, trying to memorize all my notes. Huh. Okay, be sure to read the blackboard carefully. What does it say? The blackboard describes Pokemon status changes during battle. Ah, uh, yeah, just if you want to know what happens when people hit you with stuff, which is pretty straightforward. Sleep, froze, freeze, burn, poison, all that stuff. Crammed full of Pokemon books. There's Pokeballs at your waist. You have Pokemon. It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. That would be cool to do that in real life, too. So long as the Pokemon wouldn't, like, kill us or whatever. What an amazing concept, though. How do they think of that shit? These creatures that you put in a little, in a little ball, and then you throw them and they fight each other? 
but they don't actually die. Think thankfully, <laughs> but no one actually dies. They just get pretty fucked up. I guess these are pretty low Pokemon as well. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to take what we can get. Get them up to maybe like level 10 and go to the next area. Try to. I don't know, maybe, maybe not that much. The thing with this streaming, this is, especially without an emulator, is it takes, this training takes so long. I gotta fill that with saying stuff. I should have caught that, but why didn't I catch that uh, Nidoran? That ran was good. It would have been good to have that. Rat, rat, Rattata, I never really catch these. I don't know anybody uses, that uses a rat, Rattata or Eradicate, seriously. But gotta catch them all, I guess, right? I guess we gotta catch them all. Don't kill them, don't kill them, don't kill them. Yes, all right, I think we're good. Let's catch him. Sweet. It's level four at least, it's not terrible. Sometimes I like to use them just to have extras in the beginning just in case I need them. You never know if you need them. Oh fuck, I should've, I should've left actually. Wait, no. Hopefully he doesn't hit me too many times. Yeah, well, that's nothing. At least that first one wasn't much. Yeah, there we go. Am I gonna get tacked down? Yep, tag has fallen. Come on. One more, one more. A few more, maybe. Oh, no! Holy shit. Alright, we are good. Come on. Nope. Uh, uh. Come on, Nadarin. Sweet. All right, we got just got two. And that RNG. <laughs> oh my god, that critical hit almost took him out. Nah, I don't really like to give them nicknames. I like seeing the Pokemon name. I like seeing the name that you gave them, developers and creators of Pokemon. All right, so we definitely all need to heal up here, though. I think they're both level fours, which is pretty great. Yeah, sweet. Two level fours, so... I think, yeah, all the, all the Nidorans are male and red and female in this. I'm assuming the difference between red and blue is you get male Nidorans and Nita King, and then in this you get Nita Queen. That's what's interesting about red and blues. Yeah, the po Pokemon themselves, too, are, like, totally... Some of them are in in both games obviously but some of them are not I forget which ones aren't even in like some of the bug pokemon i think or else like you get one or the other uh let's go back and train in that other area another area was pretty cool that was pretty cool <laughs> over here. Oh shit. That's right. It's like the... Can't get over there though. Yeah, I didn't think it was... I knew it was gonna be just a dead end. Okay. I level up Squirtle a bunch. Oh, come on. And then level the other ones up. I mean, I'm not gonna really level Rattata up at all, because I'm not gonna use him, but Nidoran definitely can use her. He's taking down my attack. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I do that just to make this a little, like, a little annoying. There we go. Oh shit. Okay. Critical hit. I'll take it when I need it. Boop. 
Got again with the attack, with, with affecting my attack. These tackle, yeah, come on. God. Nice vertical head again. Nice. Okay. Ooh, we got bubble. Nice. I'll take it. Catch the Spiro. I should go in the other area and catch one of the Pidgeys, maybe too. I could use one of those. Let's give them give them cut or whatever. I like to give them cut, and then you have cut and fly on one Pokemon. Spiro, yeah, let's go ahead and catch one of the Pidgeys as well. This game is similar to Skyrim to me, where I've been playing so much Skyrim recently because it's so therapeutic in a lot of ways, or it just makes me feel very relaxed for some reason. This game does that too with the music and just kind of walking around, and it's a very, it's actually a very chill game in a lot of ways. Until you're fighting, and then it's like you're stressing out, whether you know, wondering whether you're gonna make make it or not. Sometimes in the middle of like the ending, you know, fights at the very end, especially. I was I, before this game died, I. So all the way at the area where you train before the Elite Four, and I was getting my Pokemon up and stopped playing it for a little while, and then I turned it back on, the save was gone. It's brutal. It's brutal to start up a game of Pokemon that you put maybe 100 hours into, or 100 hours or more. And then, uh... And then... This new game and options and continue is just gone. There's nothing more heartbreaking than your save on your Pokemon... Are you know, in the Pokemon game just dying? Just all the progress gone. But it doesn't take away from how fun it was in the moment, I guess. Just the fact that I didn't get to beat it. I mean, I beat this game multiple times in like multiple different ways and like emulators and stuff, but it feels so. It feels almost like cheating if you could just fast forward through all the training and fast forward through everything. Like this would take so like significantly less time on an emulator. Significantly, but I don't know. I like hearing the music. I like battling. It's fun. I like doing it in normal speed. Like without without the speeding it up, it feels like you really did it. Like I beat the game, but it's like, did I really? If I could just fast forward time. Couldn't do that on, back in the day on the Game Boy. Alright, anyway, yeah. That's just... That's just the gaming life, though. You're gonna lose a lot of save files. You know, some shit's gonna happen. You gotta learn the hard way to know not to let it... Well, when I lost this, it wasn't like I could do anything about it, but either way. Anyway, yeah. That's just how that shit goes. I think there is a way to save it off of the Game Boy onto something else just in case you want to make sure you have it backed up, but that's really not worth the effort. And Bubble takes out a good chunk of their health, I love it. Love it, alright, now we're getting it going. Now we're, yep, yeah, alright, just like that. Keep it running. Run it up.
Hmm. Oh yeah, we should put Spiro in the computer and then go get Pidgey. I always like Pidgey more than Spiro, I don't know why. Yeah, I should say. <laughs> Speaking of all that, already about a half hour of game. Okay. Let me see a Pidgey. Yeah, there we go. It's a level two. Level two? Are you kidding me? Well, I've never seen something more ridiculous in my life. I'm worried about hitting tackle on it. I should just try to catch it because I feel like if I hit it with tackle, it's going to die. But he might not be caught if I do this. A level two. Yeah, sweet. All right. We put him in the front so that he just level up just because of being brought out to battle. Oh, just as soon as I do this one. Oh, it's a level three. Ah, oh, shit. Level three. I don't want to waste a Pokeball, though. I'm not going to waste a Pokeball on that shit. It'll take like two seconds to get him up to a three. To be honest, all you have to do is bring him out and then is, you know, instead of attacking, just switch right to another Pokemon. Only at XP every time. A littlest bit, but it will be something. The littlest bit will be a lot for a level 2. So let's just do that, I guess. I kind of want to put the Rattata in the computer as well. I'm not, I'm not going to use the Rattata. I just caught it just to have it. I need to sit in the computer in, in, in there forever. Instead of being out there in the wild. Fate worse than death. Nah, maybe they're chilling in there. Maybe it's a whole club in there. Who knows? That's the beauty of Pokemon. It doesn't matter. I've seen like cartoons making fun of that, like they're just chilling and all of a sudden <laughs> they're thrown into battle. Getting fucked up and shit. Alright. Oh, we should also we should do the same thing what we're doing with Pidgey with Nidoran. Save it again. one with the attack as an instinct, I guess. Oh no! Tail whip. Oh. No! God! It hurts so much.
just go to the next area. I feel like there'll be harder enemies. Oh, they get like nothing out of that. Jeez, I'll just go. There's more grass up here. Might be higher level Pokemon. And the gym. Last gym is right here. That's the eighth one, I believe. I forget what they say here. These people give you stuff sometimes, so I always try to, you know, do that. She's just playing, whatever, that little kid. Um. Hmm. Not really much of a difference in the in the levels there. Still just level three and such. Nice, all right, see? Got Pidgey up to level three. Level three, son! hope to see you again. <laughs> we hope to see you again. You son of a bitch. I hope your Pokemon continue to get hurt. And that you need us so that I have a job. Pidgey versus Pidgey. Let's see where this goes. Please take it out. Nice. <laughs> it's like literally five points even. So Squirtle do his thing for a minute, get him going. What if I just play this game often but in little bits, like just do an hour now, an hour later? I don't know if I'm feeling playing this for more than an hour or so. Maybe. Here no one's in chat though too, then I'm like fuck this shit. <laughs> Shit gets addictive though. Leveling them up gets very addictive, without a doubt. Should have cop Caterpie.
possible as soon and, and as soon as possible so that you just like kind of coast through the game at some point. Wonder there. Had a one hit one, but yeah. A one hit out of the park. That was a, a home run right there. That was quick. Why is my attack missing? He's, cause he, oh yeah, because my accuracy is falling. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. There we go. Well, there we go. Let's go heal up. Do I drop Caterpie off? Do I not drop him off? I really am not going to use a Caterpie. It's like purely like a... You know, I would feel like having him there. Or not. I don't really need, I don't really, I don't plan on using them though. Butterfree is awesome, but it's just like purely poison. It's not much. I mean, unless you get her level, get, get, them, get them leveled up like really high. Butterfree is just, uh, feels a little limited in some ways. Oh, I think I put him in there without any heals though. Let's at least get you healed up, buddy. Yeah, man. Let me see if he was healed up. Yeah, he wasn't even healed up. Just like put him in there all. This really doesn't matter. This is purely for my conscience. But come on, let's heal him up. I'm the one who hurt. Like, you know, my Pokemon hurt him. Gotta make sure that they're all cool now. Alright, Caterpie, here you go. I need her in. There you go. There you go, Pidgey. Hell yes. Oh, wait, no. He's. Pidgey's hurt. Well, I'll just switch him out right now. Nidoran looks so weird from. from 
like our point of view, like when you're when you're using it or whatever in battle. <laughs> it looks like a bunny or something, which I guess I don't know. They kind of look like little guinea pigs or something. Bunnies, bunnies are guinea pigs. But it's just it's really it's like what the fuck is that on the left there? That does not look like Nidoran. Uh, I have to switch this one out too. God damn it, guys, y'all suck. I suck for not raising you. We're not not raising, but for not leveling you up. Oh well, we got Squirtle at least. What a waste! Eight fucking points each. So nothing. That is so nothing. So we're not getting bored here. Uh, go to the next area. That's Viridian Forest right here. Oh shit. They're out for Pokemon fights, okay. Let's do it, let's fight somebody. There you go, sweet. Let's get one fight in with somebody at least. Well, higher is. Where is that shit? Okay. No! Pidgey, you gotta come through for me, buddy. This is getting intense. Oh my god, this is the most important Pokemon battle ever. Oh my god. Ah. There we go. Nice. Hell yeah, Pidgey. Yes. Let's switch it up. Need to run out there. The trainers are really important with leveling everything up too. Look how easy that was for Pidgey there. This is gonna take a while. I have to switch the squirrel in a second here. There's no way I'm gonna get it down with Nidoran. What? I didn't mean to growl. Whatever. Oh, I didn't use growl. Okay. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Alright, we gotta switch. Fuck it. Uh, just tackle him. Yeah, almost. There we go. There we go. Come on, Nader in. I like having Need a Queen. I think I'll definitely keep these guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's Pidgey, Pidgey or Pidgeotto or Pidget until. I can't really, so I don't really need him anymore. Like at the very end. But Pidgey is not, I don't know, they're just, they're so weak to everything. Flying Pokemon, you can't really have them against anything else. It's too 
elemental based, at least. They're weak against lightning, fire, all of it, feels like. I think the only ones they're strong against is like ground. Pokemon, maybe? Nope, why am I fighting? Oh, shit. Don't die, don't die. This isn't a Nuzlocke, but who cares? It still feels like it is. Yes, Pidgey, come on. Just keep training here for a minute. I just train a little bit more and then I'll just stop the stream. I don't want to play this for too long. This will be better as a little bit of time, I think. I don't know. I can get so much done within this first session too. So. This is whether I feel like keep, keep feel like playing or not. I guess. <clears throat> Definitely, I'm gonna have to catch Pikachu. I should, I should at least catch Pikachu and Viridian Forest in this session. I'm just gonna have to level up all these other ones too. Oh, come on, attack! The fucking attack missing! Come on now! Jesus Christ! You guys are just gonna keep using Gus, what a dick. What a dick.
<clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Yeah, let's cut this off in a minute here. This game is fine, but I don't know, playing it for too long feels very... I can get a little monotonous after a while. Come on. The fuck? No accuracy? Come on. There we go. Heal him up and save it. That was fun. Till next time.